Now here recently, Bungie revealed in a TWAB that all exotic primaries will be getting a 40% buff to all minor enemies. That made everyone rave and rant about all the potential primary exotics that they can try out in Witch Queen. But if only people looked a little bit closer in that sentence. Zoom in a little there. Exotic primary weapons and trace rifles. Fascinating. Now if we scroll a little bit more on the same TWAB we see, Oh my god! Ruinous Effigy is getting its Massacre of an Earth that happened in Beyond Light reverted by increasing its damage against enemies by 66% while blocking. That means Ruinous Effigy will be doing around, theoretically, 100% more damage to red bars. So it's basically doubling its damage. With this new information, I have come up with a possible build that can be really effective in the Legendary Campaign and possibly in some encounters of the new raid. For those who aren't knowledgeable about Ruinous Effigy, the gun works by whenever you get a kill with the weapon, the enemies will drop a void ball that you can pick up. You can either use a light attack or a heavy attack, but the block is what's being buffed the most. When you block, you create an aura around yourself that drains enemies' health and gives it to the player while also blinding the enemies in the process. The new Warlock Void 3.0 will synergize with this gun very well. Some of you can already guess that this is a Devour build that we're going to be talking about. There are two exotics that can pair very well with this build, Nezarek Sin and Mantle of Battle Harmony. It's a personal preference on which exotic you want to use, it's whether you want more abilities or more raw damage. But either way, you should be running an Elemental Well build with Font of Might for extra damage. The best combat mods to use are Elemental Armaments and Elemental Time Dilation paired with font of might and then you want to throw in protective light which can be activated by elemental charge which you know picking up an elemental well will give you charge with light in the background footage that's how long it takes to drain a patrol red bar now yikes even with just the 25 percent buff from font of might it is so much more viable for hunters a unique thing about ruinous effigy is that you can block attack while invisible and it won't remove your invisibility. I don't really have any builds or ideas for titans so if anyone thinks of anything let us know in the comments below and I might pin it. Either way there is no doubt that any warlock should be trying this out during Witch Queen. It's a low-key meta that anyone should be trying out.